So we just got the first few parts off our APSX Nano Mini Swiss lathe. This is the world's first ever desktop mini Swiss. Now this is very unique, right? I can take what would be scrap on a full-size Swiss machine and use that as my stock and turn this into sellable parts. For this project, we're working on a fluid nozzle. It's made out of brass, but this machine is capable of so much more. Aluminum, medical grade plastics, all the way up to grade five titanium. So let's get in here and take a look at this thing. If I pull the shroud off, you'll notice this really is a real Swiss machine. I've got a guide bushing here with my spindle and it works just like a conventional Swiss machine would. Coming around to this side of the machine, you'll see I've got five tools for doing end work. I've got a spot drill, a lathe drill, I've even got boring bars and face groovers. So take a look at this part and you'll notice I've got a face groove right on the end for an O-ring sealing groove. I've got some radial drilled holes and that's done with these two live spindles on the top. I've also got a quarter inch end mill there and that's allowing me to do the Y-axis milling on the hex. Down on the lower gang here, I have room for five stick tools. So you'll notice I've got a cutoff tool, facing tool. I've got my threading tool, which is what creates the threads here. So you can do any type of conventional lathe threading that you would do on any Swiss machine you can do here. So despite its size and price point, we're able to produce precision Swiss parts on this machine. So whether you're an educator, or you're just getting into the Swiss style machining, but you're not ready for that big investment of a full blown production machine, this could be a great option. Even if you have a floor full of Swiss machines, you're probably making a lot of scrap bar ends. You could put those in this machine and make sellable parts. Mastercam's capable of driving the biggest machines on your shop floor right down to the smallest.